Hello everyone and welcome once again to the Marauders Guild. This is Logan and today we're going to be talking Marvel Spider-Man on the PS4 and three things to look for in a very likely sequel to the game. For this video I will not be covering obvious things such as Miles Morales and a possible Venom story arc centered around Harry Osborn's sickness. Instead, this video will be more targeted towards smaller details you may have forgotten towards the end of the game. Also, before I get into this video, I want to inform everyone that I will not only be streaming here on YouTube from time to time, but also on our Twitch page, which you can follow by clicking on the link in the description below, or go to twitch.tv slash Logan725MG. But first, on to the video. Marvel Spider-Man has been out for nearly a year, and it's certainly a game that those who have played it will never forget. It has a truly large scope story that took many of the characters that we love and put a new interesting twist to them. The game starts with Peter Parker already spending 8 years under the mask and already having faced some of the most notable villains like Mysterio, the Lizard, the Vulture and many more and by the end of the game you can add Mr. Negative and Doc Ock to that already impressive list. However, one of the new villains he faced could potentially be a great plot point in the next game. Over the course of Spider-Man, Taxmaster appears, giving the Max Hero numerous challenges to complete and fighting him twice throughout doing so. Once Spider-Man defeats Taxmaster in the second fight, the dangerous villain reveals that he was recruited by an organization to scout Spider-Man for possible employment, to which of course he rejects, leading the Taskmaster escaping. Having a dangerous individual like him loose in the universe is enough for a great feature in the sequel, but whoever he was being employed by could be even greater. Now I've seen on one site in particular that they have hinted at the possible employer being the Thunderbolts, and I'll include a link to that story for those who are interested in reading it, but we move on from Taxmaster to Yuri Watanabe. Yuri was quite possibly one of Spider-Man's best allies during the game as she was able to bring police presence to anything that Peter saw it fit for. They both took down Kingpin together to start the game and their teamwork would continue all the way up to the finish of the main story. However, their relationship takes a turn for the worse during the DLC entitled The City That Never Sleeps. In it, and a spoiler warning for those who have yet to play it, Yuri goes off the deep edge after quote unquote killing Hammerhead in an act of rage. Following this newfound fury, Yuri sets out to kill those who escape justice in a very Punisher-esque style, and that's something that Spider-Man definitely will not let happen. It seems as though that they are setting up Yuri's transition into becoming Wraith, a character that has been connected to three other individuals before Yuri took up the mantle in the comics. So it will be very interesting to see if Spider-Man has to come to blows with his former friend in the sequel. Now the last thing I think we have to look out for is something that really wasn't forgettable but it was something that definitely would go over your head when it happened because of everything that was going on in that moment and how we could underestimate it at first glance. And that is the fact that Dr. Octavius knows the true identity of Spider-Man. He knows he is Peter Parker and it's really something that is becoming a very good problem for all versions of Spider-Man is keeping his identity a secret over the course of these like last few incarnations of him. But the fact that Doc Ock knows who Peter really is could be very troubling down the line, especially considering everything that he put him through over the course of the game. Now that is going to be it from me. That is the three things I think you should look out for in a possible sequel to Marvel's Spider-Man. But it doesn't have to stop there. I want to hear from all of you. Are there any loose ends or teases in Spider-Man that you noticed that you think could play a role in a possible sequel? Be sure to tell me that in the comment section below and that'll be it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed this video and show it by leaving a like and subscribing for more content just like this. Stay tuned for the next upload and I'll see you guys next time.